Hey, uh, on this video, I would like to show you how to migrate an Elementor website from one hosting to another. So I'm on the back end of the website built using WordPress and Elementor. And the very first thing I'm going to do is add new plugin. And that plugin is going to be called all in one just write that here and it's going to appear all in one migration plugin is the one you want to add and activate is already added and activated right here so i'm going to go to export and here i have to copy the old url and the new url is going to be one that i'm going to be placing right here but first I need to create a fresh Elementor installation on the new hosting. So I'm on a different hosting right here and I'm going to go to cPanel. I don't know if you have cPanel with the uh, easy install of WordPress right here like I, like I have. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a dev learn is going to be um, a, a very basic normal installation so uh, this automatic installation is done so I'm going to go to the administration panel and I'm going to add the only one WordPress migration plugin we are talking about right here activate and since I have the address the basic address to the Elementor site I am going to come back here and replace with this so uh, I am going to create a file this uh, address replacement define the basic address it is to the new one is a very important step because if you don't do this right uh, the website is not gonna look fine on the new hosting so you gotta be careful with this and and try to be accurate about this otherwise the migration won't work properly and the new site uh, sorry the site is not gonna be properly uh, install it on the new hosting if you are going to move the domain name you're going to change the DNS later on after you create the migration file you don't need to change this here it's gonna remain the same so just use the very same thing because it's gonna be uh, on the basic domain it was so you don't need to change to a new path or a new domain name. Taking a while right there. I'm gonna get back to you in one second. So uh, it is still uh, creating the migration file. It takes a while. It depends on the size of the website and also the resources of the hosting that you have right there as you can see the migration file has been created so we are going to copy the address since I do this on a daily basis so very often I have a plugin that is uh, an extension for the all-in-one WordPress migration I am going to use that one which uh, that extension is going to allow me 
to copy the URL into the migration. Now you have this option if you buy the extension. If you don't want to buy it, you can just download this from here. If you click on it, it would actually download the file. So you can download to your computer and you can uh, come back here and, and click import and import from file and you locate the downloaded file once you completed the download and upload to the new hosting but in this case since I have the extension for the URL I am going to be importing uh, this Elementor website into the new uh, Elementor site or the new WordPress site that I just install it on the different hosting different server so right now it's copying the website from one URL to the new one and getting everything ready once this is finished we're going to be able to see the same site on on this address here the same website we see if we go to MV cosmetic dentistry website I think we can just um, close this window here. We don't need it anymore. We're just gonna leave this uh, original site right here open and wait for this to actually finish the job of transferring the website, unpacking everything and installing properly the database and everything there. There's another way to actually um, import or restore the website if you take the file and and you add it to on cPanel you can actually uh, add it to the WordPress content under the uh, plugin folder so as you can see it has already completed right here And it's actually restoring the site. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and ch if you go to uh, the file manager and WordPress content, and as you can see, these are the backup, the backups uh, folder. Now, if you actually download and upload from here, the um, migration file it would actually work as well I can't remember right now if it is this one or this one but either of them would actually do the job still restoring right here Right. Uh, voila, we have the website restored. We're gonna press Ctrl here or refresh the page so we can see that we have properly migrated the website, the Elementor Pro website from one hosting to another and everything is working perfect right here on our new website that we just migrated right here this beautiful Elementor Pro website that we have built for a client so uh, please let me know if you have any question I am going to be leaving some links on the description of the video if you need help uh, migrating a website or doing some Elementor Pro work I'm gonna be leaving the uh, link to my experts um, 
profile on Elementor Pro website. Wish you all the very best and thank you for watching the video.